Hello there boys and girls, welcome back to Upon This Rock, episode 6 of season 4. Before we get into today's episode, slight change of plan. We are playing Tottenham instead of Southampton because the FA Cup, they needed to play a replay so that fixtures have been changed. So it'll be Tottenham away and Manchester United away, two very tough fixtures. We're going to get caught up now with all the highlights of the three games prior to this that we missed out. And uh, yeah, roll the roll the highlights. Here we go then, Fulham against Peterborough United at London Road. Very big game. We need three points from this game just to get us back into a comfortable area of the league. Wisdom clears that ball up, goes back to Tatsuanu. Tatsuanu just going to keep the ball, going over to uh, Lukaku. Lukaku up to Lukman. Lukman first time ball over to Dwight Gale. Dwight Gale one on one, and it's saved. And Garber just clears the clears the ball there. Aite with a free kick over to Kent. Kent but gets tackled by coming Kalido coming on for Dwight Gale is going to run the ball forward lovely run from Kalido Kalido he's going to launch it back Fossum into Cummins into Anderson and that is 1-0 to the past 15 minutes to go before the end of the game what a time to score and that could be three valuable points for the posh and that's it that's the end of the game 1-0 to Peterborough United <laughs> So after a fantastic win against Fulham, this could be six points from six. Home game against Swansea. Kingsley now into Ascobar. Ascobar just holding on to the ball. Into Jao Teixeira. Into Cummins. Cummins going to try and drive forward, but Aribas gets a, gets a foot in there. Sigurdsson over to Lalana. Try to get to John Gadetti, but holding gets the ball away from him. Phillips now on this right-hand side. Coming back from injury. Into Durham. Durham into Ascobar. Into Cummins. Cummins, lovely ball around the corner to Snodgrass. Snodgrass gets the ball in and Fossum's there at the back post. And that makes it 1-0 to Peter United. Other than that, nothing happened in the first half. Straight into the second half. Kingsley with a throw in on the left-hand side into Snodgrass. Into Teixeira, but gets tackled by Keita and Sigurdsson. Bolding now knocks it down to Fossum. Fossum into Teixeira, into Ascobar. Ascobar now keeping hold of the ball into Fossum. Fossum, lovely ball over to Kingsley. Kingsley's going to whip it in into Snodgrass. Snodgrass, great effort, but Ospina's there to save. Cummings, great tackle on Dawson there. Into Snodgrass, into Ascobar. Ascobar into Ahurahan, in, who's come on for Fossum. Lovely ball out to Stephen Kingsley. Into Luckman. Luckman drives it into the bottom corner, and that is 2-0 to the post just after the hour mark. Lalana with a corner, tries to find Hooper, but knocks it clear to Fossum. Fossum into Kalido. Kalido's going to drive it forward into Ascobar, into Ahurahan. Lugman into Kalido is going to pull it to the back post and Fossum is there. That is 3-0 to Peterborough United. We are ripping Swansea apart. Tatuano launches it clear to Kalido. Tries to knock it down Snodgrass but can't get hold of it. Sigurdsson back to Dawson, back to Sigurdsson, into Lalana, into Ayu. Lovely play here from Swansea. Looks like the Swansea of old with the way that they're keeping the ball. Sigurdsson gets it into Ayu. Lovely reverse pass into Hooper and he makes it 3-1. Ahurahan with a corner. Trying to find holding into Durham and it hits Kalido on the way through. That's Peterborough United for Swansea City 1. And it looks like the points have been wrapped up with four minutes to go. Ahuram with another corner, launching it into Baldwin. And that is 5-1 to Peterborough United. And that, I think, is game set and match for the boys. And that is it. Tries to find Durham, but it doesn't matter. And that's Peterborough United 5, Swansea City 1. <laughs> FA Cup third round away at West Ham at the Olympic Stadium. Let's see if we can pull off a shock. Lanzini now with a free kick. 20 minutes gone and he puts it in. West Ham United 1, Peterborough United nil. 20 minutes gone and that puts them in the driving seat. Kingsley just before half time. Over to Huran, into Kalido, into Pereira. Fossum, he's hit the bar. It's bounced down and straight into Adrian's arms. Leo now picking up the ball into Fossum, into Snodgrass. Snodgrass up to Kalido. He's going to take his man on. Kalido one on one. Adrian makes a massive save there. Coming up to 20 minutes left on the clock. De Jong's going to get onto the loose ball here. No one really closing him down. Is he? Can he find a West Ham man? He can. Lingard. He's hit the post. Oh, let off here for the boys. Valencia now. 15 minutes to go. Over to Obiang. Trying to find Felix in the middle, but Baldwin gets it clear. Launches it into Leo de Silva Lopez's path. Into Kalido. Kalido, lovely ball into Snodgrass. Can he get another goal against his former team? 
No, he can't. That's wayward for Robert Snodgrass. West Ham United won. Peterborough United nil. They go into the hat for the next round of the FA Cup. So as you can see, we came back to winning ways. We beat Fulham 1-0 at home. And then we followed that with a fantastic win at home to Swansea. That's a 5-1 win, which was great to see. We did come out of the FA Cup. West Ham did beat us 1-0 yet again like they did in the league a few weeks prior. But this is how the league now stands. We are now 13th in the league. Eight points clear of the relegation zone. And... We can continue to climb, keep our good form going and make sure that uh, we don't drop back into the uh, poor form that we had. There has been some transfer news. We are 11 days into the transfer window and one big signing has been made for Peter United. And it is James Ward-Prowse. Yes, that is right. James Ward-Prowse has joined Peter United. Fantastic deal for us. 8.5 million. And look at the attributes of the boy. Physically could be a little bit better, but mentally and technically he's absolutely awesome i'm going to be playing him as advanced i'm going to be playing him as an attacking midfielder central as an advanced playmaker i think he's got all the attributes to play there lovely teamwork lovely vision great passing great technique uh, great decision making composure and first touch so i think he'll be a fantastic uh, foil for us that has meant some people are on their way out and i've put uh, chris forrester and jordan williams both on the transfer list hoping to slim this squad down ever so slightly so let's get into the uh, first game against manchester united away from home and here we are, we are playing the 4-3-2-1. It's going to be Tatuano in goal, Kingsley holding Baldwin and Durham at the back, Ahurahan, Ascobar and Fossum in the middle. Ward Prowse makes his debut alongside Jason Cummins and Kalido up top. They are stacked, as you can see. Dybala up top, Mkhitaryan, Sanchez, Pogba and Rashford in the middle. Luke Shaw, Manalas, Marullo and Leon at the back. David De Gea in goal. They've already got Depay, Bailly. Uh, Schneidling, Thiago Silva on the bench as well. So they are full force here. And they are the fifth in the league. So they're not having the greatest of seasons or a Manchester, a typical Manchester United season. So let's see what we can do with regards to seeing if we can get something from this game. Keep our good form going. Ten minutes gone. Nothing really happened in this game at all. No real highlights other than the starting one. Derm on a yellow card. And here we go. First highlight of the match. Ahurahan into Kalido. Kalido into Cummins. Back to Hurahan, back to Cummins, takes a shot, hits the post. I think De Gea got a hand to it to push it back on the post. But great effort there by Jason Cummins. Durham now picking up the ball into Ahurahan. Ahurahan with plenty of time. Cummings into Ward Prowse. Ward Prowse going to play it back to Connor. Connor's going to play it through to Cummins again. Cummings going to take in his man. Going on the outside. Tries, I don't know whether it was a shot or a cross, but it wasn't very good either way. And uh, yeah, we're playing relatively well. Uh, hopefully, commentator's curse doesn't come back to me. Olivier over the top to Dybala. Great tackle there by Rob Holding. Comes out to Rashford. Rashford now is going to whip it in Dybala. And that is 1-0 to Manchester United. I thought we got, a, got the uh, danger away, but obviously we didn't. Great ball in for Marcus Rashford on that left-hand side. He beat Durham to the ball. Here we go. Rashford beating Durham to the ball there. And he brilliant cross into, uh, into the middle. Dybala there. Does what he does best. Comes in off the post. So, a little bit fortunate there from uh, from Dybala. But puts Manchester United 1-0 up 10 minutes before half-time. Olivier launching the ball in into Manolas. And, oh, what a save that is by Tatsuano. But Mkhitaryan is there to make it 2-0 to Manchester United. Good save there by Tatsuano. Initially from a Manolas header, I think it was. So, yeah, Manolas heading. Hits the post. He launches it. He just gets a hand to it to get out, comes out, don't know what he's doing there, no man's land, Mkhitaryan is there to put the ball away, and that is 2-0 to Manchester United, half time now, as I said, 2-0, scored just before, about 10 minutes before half time, we have been unlucky, they've had literally two chances, that's it, and they've scored, I'm going to go attacking, I'm going to go straight for them, not going to uh, not going to stand back now, haven't really got anything to, uh, to worry about really, so let's just go for it, see what we can do against this Manchester United side, War Prowl's not having the best of uh, the best of debuts, but we are playing Man United away, and we're following that up with Tottenham away at White Hart Lane as well. So it doesn't get any, uh, it doesn't get any easy. Dybala's through now, and he's fired it over. Don't expect that from a player of a quality of uh, Paolo Dybala at all. Uh, we are going to make some changes in two seconds after this highlight, most probably. Um, Sanchez takes it off Cummings. 
plays it to Mkhitaryan and he just pl passing it around. Olivier l launching it forward, but Holding's there to cover. Holding and Bolden have been good this season, but, but Dybala's there just talking the praises of Rob Holding. He gets uh, gets the ball taken off him from Olivier and uh, makes it three, and then Dybala makes it 3-0 to Manchester United. He doesn't miss many of these left-footed shot into the far corner. Manchester United 3, Peterborough United 0. Let's see if we can get some sort of uh, of goal, some sort of uh, constellation goal, really. Dybala, and that is 4-0 to Manchester United. They are absolutely tearing us apart. Dybala, is set. Dybala has now got two goals in three minutes there. Rashford into Sanchez. Sanchez, lovely ball through to Dybala. Gets on the wrong side of Rob Holding. And that's Manchester United 4, Peterborough United 0. Great ball into him. And they finished it off really, really well. Into Wisdom. Wisdom, is he going to try and play it first time over the, over the top? He's not. Going to take his man on. Wisdom down this right-hand side. But Renato Sanchez is there to put him, stop him in his tracks. He, they've got an amazing squad. Absolutely awesome squad. Olivier now in that little pocket of space. Over the top to uh, Paolo Dybala. Paolo Dybala. And that is 5-0 now. They're playing a very, very easy. Just literally launching over the top of our defence. And there's not a lot our boys can do. Olivier over the top. Baldwin getting stuck, getting ball watching there. Dybala now taking it to the side. Toe pokes at home. That's Manchester United 5, Peterborough United 0. Snodgrass with a free kick. Holding last 10 seconds of the game. Over to Cummings. Can't get the ball under control. Durham now with the uh, with the recycling of the ball. Holding. And that is it. Manchester United 5, Peterborough United 0. And uh, yeah, can't really fault the boys. They've given... Uh, everything they could. So let's uh, let's carry on. Tottenham now away from home in the next few days. Let's see what we can get from there. Straight into the next game against Tottenham at the new White Hart Lane. We are carrying on with the 4-3-2-1. Tatuana in goal. Kingsley, Baldwin, Holding and Dern. Ward, Prowse, Anderson and Fossum in the middle. Perea and Cummings as the attacking two. And then Kalido just up top as well. Slight change I'm going to make is I'm just going to sit slightly deeper. Because United were launching the ball over the top, getting in, getting in behind from us. So hopefully that will kind of negate Tottenham trying to do the same thing for against us as well. 15 minutes in to the uh, game against Tottenham, and nothing's really happened. To be fair, four shots for them. We haven't had re we haven't had any opportunities really. To be fair, um, but we're getting a point at the minute as it stands. Derm up against uh, Coutinho. Get back. Gets back to Durham into Kalido from Ward Prowse. Kalido is going to take on four men there. Tries to take a shot from a very, very long way out, and it doesn't really come to anything. Both teams' average ratings really around the 6.7 mark. No one really taking the game by the scruff of the neck. A point here would be absolutely brilliant. Be up there with, <clears throat> be up there with a point against Arsenal at the uh, at the Emirates. Very drab match so far, but we need to keep it as drab as we can, and then try and nick a goal. Uh, late on in the uh, in the game, haven't seen um, Deli Ali though. I wonder where he is. Harry Kane now threw a uh, and, it, uh, and uh, Coutinho has now scored. I was going to say Harry Kane threw a, threw a mistake from uh, from Kingsley at left back and he slots it across to uh, Philippe Coutinho and that is one nil to Spurs. Here we go. That was a mistake. Uh, Lamella got uh, really tight onto Kingsley. Kane just drills it into the back post. Durham can't get there and Coutinho literally. Has a tap in. That's two minutes into the second half. 20 minutes to go. Shall we go out all out attack again? Like we did against Manchester United. We just did seem to get a few more opportunities when we went there. 20 minutes. Last 15 minutes. Let's go. Attacking for the last 15 minutes. Let's see what we can get against Tottenham. Five minutes to go. Walker though with a with a throw in. Anderson gets above uh, Son. Oh, out to Kalino. Now kalido has got a lot of uh, room to run into. Into Fossum. Fossum into Durham. Durham's going to take on Danny Rose, but cannot get past him. And he pushes it out to Coutinho, out to uh, Babacar. Babacar to Coutinho, trying to get the ball over to Deli Alley. Wonder where he was. Wimmer gets the ball cleared to Deli Alley himself. Alley's going to run into the player. And Ericsson. Oh. Babacar played the ball through to Ericsson, and Ericsson just hit the post. We're keeping them at arm's length. 1 0 to Tottenham still. Still two minutes left. Uh, of the uh, of the game, can we get anything off Snodgrass launching the ball in? Falls out to Fossum. Is Fossum going to get there? Snodgrass through to Kingsley. Kingsley hits a shot, but Lloris is there to save straight down his throat. But that is it. Tottenham one, Peterborough United nil. Two defeats on the bounce against top seven sides. 
can't complain too much. We've kept Tottenham there at a, at arm's length, really. But we are now 14th place. We are four points off the relegation zone. And Southampton do have a couple of games in hand. One of them is against us. And that will be the next episode. We are going straight on from this. We're going to go Southampton at home and Sunderland at home. Two games that we need to win. That's six points there. Six points would be 29 points. And we'll push us back up to around 11th place if fixtures go our way. But that's it for today. A little bit of transfer news. Two games plus highlights. If you've enjoyed the episode, please do leave it a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and you want to see more of someone play football manager very, very badly at the minute. And until next time against Southampton and Sunderland, I'll see you soon.